and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Elnuk Sacrifice. That's right, I uh, built a new deck here. I took the Sacrifice value deck that we played the other day. That you, If you remember that deck, it was, it was pretty sweet, but we didn't have the best win-loss record with it. But what I did was in, I shaved off the top end. We had some more like eights, nines, tens. You know, like we had some like random top end cards, shaved those off. And I'm going to be putting in the Elnuk package into it. So we got five, or we got our five drop with a troop of Elnucks. So whenever you play it, you summon each Elnuk in the top 10 cards of your deck. And then of course we have the bold Elnucks also. Those are the only Elnucks. But when you're only playing 40 card decks, and you look through 10, there's a lot of times that you play a troop of Elnuk and you get two or three other Elnucks along with it. And so I just kind of wanted to, to try that out with our value package. I want to try that with Averroes and Hearthguard that grants all your allies in your deck plus one. So if we, plus one, plus one. So if we, um, uh, thanks Fox Poppy, thank you. Uh, so if we can get like, one or two of these out, then we make all of our creatures plus one plus one, and then we play our troop of Elnux that brings along the bulls and and uh, you know that they're even bigger. I just thought that that could be kind of cool, uh, putting those together. So that's what we're going to be trying now. Uh, the like elusive decks and kind of an aggressive decks are are going to be tough for us because we're just trying to play a bunch of uh, mid range creatures. So I'm actually putting two avalanche in the deck. I think so like that's kind of interesting um avalanche can like kill our cursed keeper also for us um but then you know like the other stuff like if it gets rid of an omen hawk or an aristocrat um or you know like a sentry like that's not really a big deal but i, I kind of wanted to try avalanche and see if we could set up some good avalanches but besides that what our deck's about is it's about scribe sorrows uh whenever we're summoned create and hand it an ally that died this game you know so we're trying to sacrifice our own stuff with that we have chronicler ruin kill an ally then revive it um and you know that chronicler of ruin can kind of help with avalanche also if we get some damage on some of our bigger creatures it's possible this deck doesn't work too well it's possible we don't have enough interaction i got the black spears in here for interaction but maybe we still don't have enough i don't know we're gonna see so let's let's try it out you know it's it's always good to try out just new brews and just see how they do. That's what I like doing. And that's what our Elnuk Sacrifice deck is. It's possible that I should be trying it out at a different time, not when I'm I'm two wins away from moving away from gold and into platinum. But maybe we'll just win our first two. Maybe I should have played the discard burn deck first that we did, that we had a lot of success with um, the last time that we played it. Maybe I should have played that deck first as a as a more as a, a safer bet to get us out of gold but oh well i wanted to play this deck i was excited about this so we're playing it first okay I'm going to replace the five drop and basically look for other things to kind of fill in the curve. Omen Hawk. You've been looking at two concepts, Katarina and Blade Twirlers and Noxus. Is Blade Twirler, that's the, is that the, the one, three, you know, rabbit looking thing that, that has like stun, I should probably just attack first, that, that grows whenever you stun and recall. I think that's that card. Fair enough. Um, which that makes sense because then every time you recall Katarina, you put plus two plus zero on the blade twirlers. That's a that's a pretty good combo. I like it. And then they're all quick attack. Okay, I like it. That's a good combo. Wow, double big hearth guard. There's nothing to fear. Um. And then your other one is cloning, sacrificing with Lucian and Senna. Okay, to, to keep flipping those. 
That's a pretty good one too. Well, this isn't really what I want to do. I don't really want to draw the bull Elnux. I want them just to be in the deck. So we draw a troop of Elnux and then we bring them all out. That's what we want. Big Slider. Getting that resub going for 11 awesome months. Thank you so much there, Big Slider. All right, but it's a good four drop. We'll play that now. Because we can, we can play Hearth Guard. And then we can, you know, play another hearth guard, and we can kill a hearth guard, and bring it back, and so we can get all of our creatures in here plus three, plus zero, or plus three plus three. But we just gotta stay alive. Like, so we're going to have very big creatures in the late game. But we got to stay alive. That's fine. Take the two for one trade. Yeah, I could have vengeanced it, and then we would have still had our creature, but I'd rather just play the hearth guard. Justice will be served. Yeah, I mean, I guess it can be. Our will lead the way. So I want to make this attack, so they block... Rally. That's probably bad for me. So I don't get to play a creature now. They get to just attack first. Alright, I would just I guess I'm just gonna vengeance this. And then block here. Hey, Harris, yeah. Um, yeah, basically just kind of changed games. This, I'm a big believer in this Legends of Runeterra game. I uh, wrote about it. Um, why I think it's a, a better game than Magic. And... The War Mother will unite us all. I should have just played the Chronicler right there. Come closer. I don't fight. Nothing escapes my watch. And I, this game's awesome, and, and so I hope I hope you give it a try if you haven't. But yeah, just kind of moving away from magic. The, the name changes because I have the MTG in the name, and I want to be able to play different games and everything. All right, let's see. So you have to block there. That's just what you have to do, and then. Uh, you can just block this is our homeland. these things. It's me taking four. I'm considering having the 6-2 block this Mistwraith instead of Elise. But now we'll block this, this way. You cannot play the same champion twice, but it's like a legendary creature in Magic. But to make up for that... Something that's really cool of what they do is that if you if you have one champion in play and you have a second copy in your hand, that second copy in your hand turns into a spell where you can just cast the spell and each champion is different of what spell it turns into. You know, they turn into a spell that kind of goes along with the, the champion. Those rallies are pretty good. Why would you not attack with the one four? I, this is the only block I can make to stay alive. They just missed a free point of damage. Be strong. These are dark times. Hmm. 
Hmm. I really wanted to use the Chronicler of Ruin on one of those things. I wish I would have played the Chron Chronicler of Ruin last turn. Thanks, Harris. Yeah, there are there are ways of getting multiple champions in play, but you can't cast one once you have one. No place for the kind. There's a hearth guard. I guess I should have attacked for four first, but oh well. I'm not playing like these cursed keepers because I don't want to. I guess I could have just played one and killed one with the chronicler. Because basically, I want to be able to fill this up with all creatures that can block. That is important. Many tribes under one banner. Oh, you know, I just said I just said thank you, Harris. One candle for every soul. Yeah, same. Thank you. Well, if they didn't miss that one point of damage by not attacking, they would have lethal right now. Because they have five attackers, I have four blockers. Oh, come on. Well, I guess, I guess it's lethal. Dang. That was some good draws. They had whenever they were empty-handed. I thought for sure when they were, that when they were empty-handed that we were going to be winning this. Those are some good draws. With this rekindler. That brings back, you know, the one thing that brings back three bodies. Yeah, I figured it out. Well, that's really unfortunate. I thought we were going to win that one. They kind of just, just barely got there. You know, they had exact lethal. Barely got there. Down. Ooh, four different champions. I just have like one Callista in here. It's my only champion. It doesn't really need to be in here, honestly. Actually, I prefer this game right now, Chief. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no games end in Mana Flood and Mana Screw. Yeah, it just doesn't happen. It's great. But there's still um, strategy between ha but like how you use your mana because of this the, um, saving mana part of the game like that's that's really cool so yeah so they're and said so, since they're not playing anything they're ramping no suffering so we may end it i don't really even want to play this hapless aristocrat how this game is safeguard our homes two troop of elnox Secure me tail, not to die. The homestead. I will learn from you. Oh. 
Keeping some room open. So the question is, do I want to play the hearth guard first? Or do I want to play or just start playing these troop of Elnux? I think I want to just play hearth guard first. I think it's best just to play this card as early as possible. And then of course I'm gonna use the glimpse beyond and turn this into a 4-4. Four -four. That's a good combo. Get rid of those puff caps and draw real cards. They got a karma. All right, let's bring some, bring some cows. Those are some cows right there. <laughs> uh, Troop of Elnux is broken. So five mana, you get a three three, a five six, a five six, and a four four. <laughs> That's pretty busted. Pretty busted. Attack. So there's only six total Eldux in my deck. So obviously there's four here in play. I have one in hand. So there's only one more in my deck. So if I play this one, the the maximum I can get is one other one extra Eldux with it. Well, Karma's out of here. That's good. Time for a true display of skill. Uh oh. That's real super scary. One shot, all skill. Hmm. I wonder if one of my. They're probably going to kill one of my creatures, right? And then I can play Rasa? Maybe not. I mean, they're definitely casting this Mystic Shot, right? Definitely wish I knew you know, if they were killing this or not. Okay, it looks like not. Attack. Obstacle, meet gauntlet. You're between me and glory. Elnux are pretty sweet. Alright, bounce that. Shoot that. Do 
Steel five to that. All right, any Elnux? Nah, that was the only one. Okay. Nothing escapes my watch. Pass turn. The Elnuk whiff. Yep, there's only one other Elnuk in, in the whole deck, so it wasn't real likely that we were going to hit it. I have no puff caps right now. I probably don't need to Vengeance Teemo. I think I can just take that. Um... We'll kill that. Karma will give them a random spell. And say no to random spells. And opponent surrendered. Okay, so one and one. And the game that we lost, I, I thought I was pretty confident that we were going to win. So, you know, like we're real close there. So that's a good sign. It's a good sign. Deck's pretty fun so far. It's just, you know, big mid-range creatures. Slamming them down, attacking. Oh, pretty fun. All right, so with us having the Omen Hawk, we don't need this Aristocrat. Let's get rid of that. And let's... I always like shuffling these Bull Elnucks back because we want to have as many Elnucks in our deck for whenever we draw a troop of Elnucks. Chronicler of Ruin. This card's cool. The Omen Hawk. So yeah, if you right click and then click the eyeball, you can get full art on the cards. And you get their their little story. I wish I had something between turn one and turn four as far as creatures go. There's nothing to fear. Except fear itself. Creature. All right, we'll take it. That's not a bad thing to chronicler. It's not like the best thing to chronicler, but it's not bad. I don't think my opponent's going to want to trade. Because honestly, I don't really want to trade, but I just don't think they're going to want to either, so. Got a free attack. Yeah. And I'm going to do that again the next turn. So we're about to get some pretty big creatures. I know the mark of the aisle. Magnifico! Ray, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Hey K Smith, yeah. Changed it probably about three three days ago or so.
Basically, I've been playing a whole lot of Legends of Runeterra. I really uh, believe in this game. I think this game is awesome. And I wanted... Well, we're going to play this Hearth Guard. And I wanted a name that, that was um, versatile and, you know, didn't have any game in it. You know, like the Todd Stevens MTG. Stand together! Hmm. Seems they're gonna shoot it. Darn. Because I did want that to survive because I wanted to destroy it and then revive it, but... I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> That's a big bull elk. Nook. All right, I'll trade. Virtue guides me. Ooh, what's that noise? I forgot that thing was a three-three. Now I kind of feel bad for trading. Troop of Elnux. Yeah. Right. All right, going up the ground. I want to find another hearth guard, play the hearth guard, you know, pump these things up even more. Chronicler for the hearth guard. Ooh, that's a good card. Scribe of Sorrows. All right, well, I'll make some obvious blocks. We'll just go here, 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 and here. Just the obvious blocks across the board. With only one thing of mine dying, all four of theirs dying. Drain that for one, that's fine. Yeah, Elnuk's bigger than Raid. That did not seem like a great attack. Hearth Guard? Okay, I'll take an Omen Hawk. Pump those things up again. Pump them up even more. They may just have like a bunch of like rallies in hand. I'll feel that they're splashing Demacia for rally. Our next two creatures that we draw are going to be pretty pumped. Plus three, plus three. What? Why don't you block the four one? No, oh, you're going to do that. Sure. So two mana, five, four, that whenever it dies, you draw a card. That seems like a pretty good rate. Bottom. 
I don't think their deck plays Judgment. They do have the Harrowing. That's a summon, so they get the Hearth Guard trigger. I want to keep that alive. It's going to keep this troop of Elnux alive, and I'm going to remitter it, turn it from a five drop to a seven drop. I wish I had one more man. I wish I could play Curse Keeper plus Remitter. Then I would just I would just destroy the Curse Keeper. Ugh. Which maybe I should have just done that. But go straight to combat. Attack. GG. Basically, they gotta have vengeance or rally, drain. All right, Elmug sacrifice two and one. I'm pretty close to three zero, real close to being three zero. All right, I think we're one win away from out of gold. Big, big time match here. Get this one, get out of gold. So I think this is a big time match here. All right, let's get rid of the bull. What are we playing against? We're playing against Heimerdinger Ezreal. Get rid of this. And don't have anything to kill the Cursed Keeper right now. No, I'll keep it. Good. So yeah, they're so what are they using Noxus for with their Ezreal Heimerdinger control deck? You don't see Noxus too often. <laughs> Mulligan to deny that I won't need draw draw two more. <laughs> That's always a tilt. Hmm. Not sure what's going on here with their deck. Is 
Glory Seeker. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Uh, Trump Womp is so good. Man, that card's great. Excuse you. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I love that. I'm glad they're not just, you know, killing my 3-3 for free with that. What's up, Paul? 16 awesome months. Thank you, Paul. Order entropy. No, not Hammerdinger. All right, I'm just gonna kill this and then Black Spear. Hey, Paul, thank you so much. Fourth sub of the day. Alright, I'm happy with that. Because that means now they don't have they don't have the mana to protect Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger down. I mean I guess they could have like the give something tough. But no, that's Demacia. Oh no! Broke your phone today? That doesn't feel bad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, oh right, I have a Callista in the deck. Forgot about that. I'm just attacking out. Answers. I have them. Unfortunately, they have a backup Heimerdinger. That's not good. <laughs> Anticipated outcome. Down to four. Almost there. They can cast these two mushroom clouds and get two one ones and just play two one ones. Have more blockers. Looks like they don't want to do that. Bull Elnuk's pretty big, but again, I want these Elnuk's just in my deck, so we draw a troop of Elnuk's and bring them all out. And then again, we need more room for that. We get a 3-1 Elusive. Alright, what am I pairing the Callista with? Probably the Avarosan Sentry. I guess they have more of the deal damage. Or kill a damage unit. The reason why I'm thinking Avarosan Sentry is because they're at four. This makes this card lethal. Yeah, we could go Cursed Keeper, but then, you know, Cursed Keeper just gets to three. Maybe it's Cursed Keeper. Hey, After Wizard. No, trying this game out, Affliction. That's the, yeah, the Noxion Guillotine. If you haven't, if you, Legends of Ruterra is only like a month old. So if you haven't, if you haven't checked out this game yet, I wrote why you should, why I think it's better than Magic. Alright, so 
they get My what, most four creatures. <laughs> so yeah, check yeah, check it out. This game's awesome. So I'm gonna just go straight to combat, I think. Oh, Heimerdinger is so good. I don't know if I'm supposed to play this or, or just go straight to combat. Honestly, not sure. I feel like I'm probably supposed to play it, but I'm not playing it. I mean, they, they have so many... They have, like, a million ways to kill Callista. I'm not... Yeah. I don't think that I would... I don't think that... If I left Callista back, I don't think Callista would be attacking the next turn. Aberdeen are just so good. Hearth Guard's a great draw. Round and round and round it goes. Everything can use an upgrade. Because, yeah, speaking of upgrades, we need some upgrades. We need some bigger creatures. Get through these turrets. Uh, that gets them a T hex. It works. Oh, it works. Just a moment. You could be so much more. Hmm. That's a bad six drop. It's a really bad six drop. That was just a downgrade. bad. This is our home We're just dead. Heimerdinger wins again. Heimerdinger out for this many turns.
No, we were one win away. One win away from leaving gold. Yeah, they who endure, yeah. Could have that in this stat in this deck. We're playing against a burn deck now. Now we gotta survive. Ooh, I love Avalanche. Um I think it's just kinda like my best card. I'm hoping this avalanche does a lot for us. You won't get past me. I'll do better this time. We can play it on turn three. Can't play it here. So I'm gonna play a sentry to block. First, we can still play it on turn three. But I kind of hope that they just play the the three mana five four, and then we can just bl chump block the three mana five four, and then avalanche post combat. Okay, that works too. Now we get a chance to respond, or like to get her chance to go next. So we'll just avalanche away these two. All right, so they still have five cards. I have six cards, so we're up one card, even on mana. Won't find better this side of the sun. Yeah, from Heimerdinger to aggro. I'd rather face the aggro deck. Like Heimerdinger is with with um with me not having with me not having much removal, Heimerdinger is really tough. I had one removal spell to take out the first Heimerdinger, but they had a second Heimerdinger and I couldn't you know, my deck doesn't really kill them that fast. Stop drawing these Elnux. We don't want to draw them. So there's only three left in the deck. But the aggro decks, we can just, um, we can just play creatures and block. Our strength is yours. I blocked the thing that does direct damage to me, hoping that we can just keep blocking these things from now. And do not draw Elnux, draw something else. Keep Elnux in the deck. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Okay, we got one Elnuk. Not bad. Yeah, I mean I have the I have the black spears in the deck. There's not really other good efficient removal like so I've I have black spears and one vengeance. Uh besides that as far as removal goes, like you know, like, there's the five mana drain three. My deck already has a lot of five mana cards. I have, like, one Mark of the Isles that's kind of removal-ish. Let's make a deal. See the Nebastian border from here. Brewing up some trouble. We don't need to kill Jinx yet. Look out for Reavers. No, maybe I should have. Hey, new bloco, I'm doing good. Light the 
signal So I can avalanche and kill these things. Nice. Of course I'm ready. Hey Bio. Bio Peligroso. It's fun to say Peligroso. Well, they have to draw a burn spell right now, or a creature that does direct damage. Lady Elise, where are you? Yeah, that. Yeah, they have a unit that <clears throat> that attacks and does direct damage. <laughs> or if they have a burn spell. Darn. I mean, so, like, the Jinx, like, didn't kill me. Like, not killing the Jinx didn't really kill me. Well, right. I mean, if they would, if they drew, I mean, I would have a, spot, a time to, resp after they play their first thing, I'd be able to, like, they're, they weren't going to open, be able to empty their hand. I had a vengeance. So, like, whenever they, whenever they play the first thing, I was going to be able to kill the Jinx at that point. So it's like not not killing the jinx earlier didn't really cost me. Yes, I know the minion takes precedence over vengeance. So they play a minion and then at, like after they play the minion, then I have priority. So then I have vengeance. Like it, right? Like that's how that would have worked. They have the two cards. We're playing against. Okay, yeah, I forgot about the two cards, yeah. Border from here. All right, Avalanche, we're gonna need you to do some more work. But I don't know. Yeah, there's like going back. We go back and, and watch. You know, play through that match again. There's there's probably things that I could have done differently. To to there's probably there's probably things that we could have done differently. Just passing. If they're out there, I'll spot them. 
Yeah, Soul Gorger just isn't very good. Soul Gorger is just not. Yeah, it's just not very good. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot of healing. Like Shadow Isles is the color for for healing. Like there's a a lot of healing we could do. Uh, they're just not playing anything. Of Elnux. Light the signal fires. And we have so many cards. Ah, uh, only one Elnuck. That's supposed to be like the anti Elnut card, I guess. More people are playing that. All right, let's see. What do I want to do here? I got six mana. They're just passing. I could go. Let's do a Scribe of Sorrows. Get something that died. Darn. Curse Keeper. This definitely looks like kind of like the spooky karma deck that we played last time, you know, like so like karma control. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting ruinations and harrowings from them. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it's pretty clear they have ruination. And, and probably harrowing as well. Uh, second thing, Alice. Yeah, I'm probably making this my main game. I really like this game. Um, fine. I mean, if I, I bond Cal Calista's just going to die, like, they're going to cast Ruination. It's like playing Callista to bond doesn't really matter. Thing is, I'm doing. I'm right there with him, card advantage wise. I'm right there with them.
So I kill the 1-1 one, one that brings a 4-4, four, four, then revive it. So I have two extra creatures. I'm gonna try to just go straight to attacks and have hopefully have lethal. That's not bad. This is intense. Mark of the Isles, not bad. In case you know to protect against removal. Yeah, looks like they got removal. So drain three from that. And then deal one to everything. All right, so I can... Why can't I cast this at this time? Oh, this, here we go. So I'm gonna kill this. So they don't get to drain three. And they're dealing one to everything. So I'll grant this plus three, plus three and ephemeral. And that should do it. So the game three go to 11. Four, eight, 11. And I have 13. That should do it. Oh, yeah, I never, I never checked that eye thing, no. I guess I should have done that. I haven't gotten used to that thing yet. All right, so we're three and three. And we're going to play one more. Finish with that winning record. Oh, the I can predict the harrowing, really. Okay, it'll let you know like what, what you're going to get with harrowing. That's Yeah, that's interesting. Fearsome midrange. Similar kind of deck, but... A lot more. Let's keep the troop. Um, a lot more fearsome stuff. Wow, I predicted I was going to do two damage to him, and I was right. It was right. There's nothing to fear. <laughs> hmm. Still see far and clear. <laughs> yeah, don't need the the flood emote anymore. Ready the torches. <laughs> yeah, it's true. New, new loco. You dare. That's not good drawing drawing a bull. It's one less thing to give with the troop. So now there's only three more targets for the troop in the rest of the deck. Don't want to draw Elnux. Want to draw other stuff. We could use a bite. Torches. It's a 
Could sack the sentry, draw two. But I kind of like saving the Glimpse Beyond for the Keeper. Turn that into a 4 4. No. Now there's only two Elnux. Ugh. Well, we got one of the two. All right, I'll use it there. <clears throat> Because, you know, last time we got the damage on the Mist Wraith. The deck that I'm playing right now is not a meta deck. The, deck that, the decks that we've been playing against are, like, this is definitely a meta deck that we're playing against. But my current deck is just a a brew that I'm trying out for the first time today. Many tribes under one banner. Six mana is kind of awkward because I have a whole lot of twos and a whole lot of fives. That's good for us. Wasted a lot of mana. That was a good turn for us. Fine with that. As long as things aren't doing damage to us. No, I don't like that. Puts me down to six. Why didn't they just do that the first time? I don't know. I guess I'm going to use this Vengeance. Save seven life. It's probably worth it. I mean, we, you know, just trading our Vengeance for two of their marks. It's probably worth it. Just got to keep our life total high. Even though, you know, they could play like a Hecarim. That could be really scary. Now all of our creatures have plus two, plus two in the deck. No, a sentry. That's <laughs> like the worst one. Yeah, worried about a harrowing. I'm kind of worried about that. Oh, Rasa. Right. That was a bad attack. That was a bad attack. Never mind. Should have said I'm worried about Rasa. Yeah, I mean, I know better. That was just a bad attack. I'm going to remit her this thing. Oops. 
Yeah, that was just a terrible attack by me. This game's so difficult. Make, you know, like, it's a difficult game. It's a difficult game. All right, so we ended up three and four, but it was a fun deck to play. I liked it a lot. Um, yeah, I liked this deck a lot. It was fun to play. Vengeance was actually pretty good for us a lot. I could see maybe playing another one, even though it costs seven mana. It's just so much mana. Maybe we do need to have a, a couple of like the, the five mana drain three or, or something else, maybe a little bit more um, interaction. I think the card that I was the most disappointed with was like Scribe of Sorrows. Um, Hapless Aristocrat didn't really feel very good either. Yeah, Hapless Aristocrat, Scribe of Sorrows. Those two didn't feel as good. But like Scribe of Sorrows and Chronicler of Ruin can kind of go infinite. Um, yeah. But there we go. Uh, you know, mid-range value with the Elnux. The Elnux were awesome. Um, Hearthguard, Elnuk, Omenhawk, that stuff was awesome. That's all Freljord. Um, you know, I'm gonna, you know, try that with some other groups also. Gotta find, like, the best, like, removal and thing, you know, like, things like that with this. Maybe just pairing that with PNZ and pairing that because PNZ gets you that get excited that we just saw because you have the extra cards. So get excited isn't so bad. I mean, I guess you maybe don't have the, this as much card advantage that's the thing like chronicler of ruin remitter you get some extra card advantage with uh with these colors maybe just moving away from curse keeper i don't know i don't know we'll keep we'll keep working on it but all those games that we lost were really close you know like we weren't like getting blown out besides the one time we lost to the heimerdinger opponent uh that had the second heimerdinger that was like the one that wasn't close all the rest of them were pretty close so maybe um some different decisions from me could have uh, helped that out but fun deck to play all right we're gonna play some discard burn up next so those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and uh you know leave those comments uh leave your deck list what you know what are you playing and ranking up with in legends of rune terra all right but that's it here for elnuk sacrifice so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video